upset alert at Wimbledon as Igor Sviontek is knocked out of the tournament in the third round by Yulia Putin Saver. This is our post match reaction. Let's go through it. And before we go anywhere, make sure you've hit a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let's get stuck into it. The world number one is out and Yulia Putin saver in very good form ends Igor Sviontek's hopes and the 21 match winning streak is over. It was 6-3 to Igor in the first set, then a breadstick for Putin saver in the second set and then started the third set in incredible well, and it was an amazing third set. Four love up and then 6-2 the final score. And now she reaches the fourth round in London. Uh, a big upset, even considering it's eager on grass. I would agree because it, I think the opportunity was there this year. No Sabalenka. I mean, there was Ostapenko in the next round. is a bit of a bogey player for her. But I feel like she was starting to find her feet from last year's quarterfinal. But it wasn't to be. And Putin Saver beats her for the first ever time. She'd lost four times in the past. She'd never even won a set. So it may be fitting that the bakery item comes for Putin Saver. And, uh, well... That's the second win over a world number one for Putin Saver. And it's the first ever Wimbledon fourth round. A 12th top 10 win. And uh, I think it's just an amazing achievement for Putin Saver, who came into this in amazing form. She won the tournament in Birmingham. She's one of the most in form grass court players on the tour. I mean, can she beat Ostapenko in the next round is the big question, really. I think that she has a really good chance. I mean, Ostapenko is a bit up and down. She looked good this tournament so far. I think that's going to be a popcorn match. We've got Steve from the Slice Tennis saying that Putin Saber played a great match. It is disingenuous to say that Iga Sviantec losing this match is a complete shock. Iga has won the last three French Opens, but has only made it to the quarterfinals uh, one time at Wimbledon. That was last year. Uh, Iga is a clay specialist. And Bastian Fucken saying that Iga Sviantec's Grand Slams outside of Roland Garros since the start of 2023. We saw Australian Open. It was only a round of 16. Uh, Wimbledon 2023, that was a quarterfinal. US Open 2023, round of 16. Australian Open 2024, it's a round three. And uh, you see there, Wimbledon now, round three. Is she just a clay court specialist? We know she has a US Open title to her name, but eager, does she need to start stepping it up on the other surfaces? But that's my quick post-match reaction. Let me know your thoughts about Eager's loss in this Wimbledon competition in the comments section below. Is it a big shock or do we just not expect Eager to be doing well at Wimbledon? I want to know your thoughts. And if you haven't already, smash a like, subscribe and join us for a Roundup podcast coming up later tonight.